Well, hello. So what I'm going to talk about is calibration of equipment for small acreage applications. And I know that doesn't sound very exciting, but you know how well you calibrate your equipment is just as important as what you're spraying and when you're spraying. So we need to have excellent coverage in order to get the, the most benefit from, from our materials. And that doesn't mean, you know, we're not just talking about conventional sprays, but that also includes organic sprays. We need to calibrate so we can apply stuff at the, at the right rate with good coverage. So let me talk about the situation here. We're in the field, which is great because I'm going to show you how to calibrate uh, the equipment I have to treat this field. So this field uh, will be a cabbage field. We're going to have six rows of cabbage. Uh, we're going to have each of the six rows 200 feet long. And with the sprayer I have, it's going to treat an area three feet wide. Now, the rows are actually six feet wide, but we don't treat that area between the rows. We're only treating that three foot section. So when we look at the area that's going to be treated, it's going to be six rows by three feet by 200 feet. And when you do the math, when you multiply those together, it's 3,600 square feet. So that's the number of square feet. Not really useful because most of our pesticide labels talk about how much per acre. So we need to uh, translate that into the number of acres. And there's a number that I remember. It's 43,560. That's the number of square feet in an acre. So I take this 3,600 and I divide it by 43,560 and that gives me the number of acres. So in this field, I need to treat uh, 0.082 acres. Just underneath a tenth of an acre is what we need to treat. So at this point, let's go over and take a look at some of our application equipment that we have available. All right, so you know th there are larger sprayers. Uh, there, there can be tractor mounted uh, boom sprayers you could go through this field with. Uh, I plan on using backpack sprayers, but the technique we're going to talk about with calibration works the same for all these different types of equipment. So th this is what I commonly see used on a lot of small farms in Kentucky is a backpack sprayer. There's a lot of different models. They hold three to four gallons of water. Uh, they get up to about 40, 45 PSI uh, when, when you pump them up fully. This is what we use for research. It's a bit more accurate. Uh, well, it's, a, it's a lot more accurate. Uh, it, it doesn't, the, the, what I have set up here doesn't have a lot of water with it, but we have larger volume, uh, volume uh, equipment where we can go up to three, four gallons as well. And so to calibrate, you need to put on your gloves. Uh, we're gonna do this with water. And so I, I have filled this container here just with regular water uh, and I'm gonna get it ready to calibrate. So the first thing to do, uh, well, I'll, I'll show you what I did, is I filled it up with water and I made a mark there. So I know how much water I put in that container. We're gonna uh, attach this. And we're gonna pressurize it. Get it ready to, to apply. All right, so we're not ready to calibrate yet because one thing we didn't account for is all these lines and, and the spray boom is empty. And so we need to make sure we, we fill this up completely with, with water and then refill the container. Then we know that uh, uh, we can determine exactly how much we're putting uh, in the field. So right now I'm, I'm just, All right, so the, the, this is pressurized, ready to go. By the way, when I determined that three foot area that we're treating, that's the distance between these two nozzles. So this is a three nozzle system, and uh, that gives me really good coverage on these plants, and I know exactly what the treated area is in the field. So we got that full, full of uh, material. Let's refill this container. You, 
you can see how much water it takes just to charge the lines. Okay. Now we know exactly how much water we started with. All right, let's pressurize it. Next thing we need to do is determine what pressure we're gonna be spraying at. Because when we change the pressure of our sprayers, we're gonna to have to recalibrate all of our equipment. So anytime you change the nozzles, the number of nozzles, the person who's making the application, the pressure, you need to recalibrate. So right now I have my sprayer set at 42 PSI, which is where I want it to be. I got it pressurized. Now I can go to the field and see what the volume is that, that I'm putting out. So uh, let's go to the field and I'll show you what, what I have out there. So here, here we are in the field. Uh, I like actually calibrating in the field because it has the same soil conditions and, and everything that I'm gonna have to deal with when I, when I make the application. What I've done is I've put two flags in the field and I measured the distance between the flags. They're exactly 100 feet apart. So I know when I make this application and I go down to the next flag, I'm putting out enough uh, material to cover not only the 100 feet to the flag, but the three feet wide to account for the, uh, the nozzles and, and, and the sprayer that I'm using. So let me just go ahead. I know that the, the sprayer's charged. I'm ready to go. I'm just going to walk down and, and put out material for 100 feet. Okay, so we've gone out to the field. We, we've, we've made our application for 100 feet by three feet wide. Now we need to figure out how much water we used. And that's why we made the mark on the container, why we charged all the lines before we started with that. So let's see how much water that took. So I'm gonna depressurize this, take the container out. And we wanna be accurate because what we're trying to do is we're trying to scale up from 100 uh, feet of row to what would be the uh, the 1200 feet in the, in this plot we want to treat. So you can see here, here's how much water we had to begin with. That's where we ended up. And so what I've done to measure how much water we used is I have a graduated container here. This particular container has exactly 64 fluid ounces in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna refill it to this line, then I'm gonna see how much water that took. All right, and by the way, not every field that you'll, you'll be doing this with is level. And so one thing I did is I put this mark on the bottle on this, the, the same, side of the truck when I filled it and when I refilled it. So even if my truck is sloping and the bottle doesn't fill up level on top, it's, it's, uh, it's going to be the same, same amount of water that was used. All right, so I've refilled the container. Let me just put this to the side. We're, we're pretty much done with all this. I'm going to shut off the, uh, the sprayer. And by the way, uh, when I sprayed that, that 100 feet in the field, it's very important you use the same techniques that you're gonna use when you spray the field. You're walking at the same pace. It's probably uh, very good to have the same person that, to do it, uh, to calibrate as well as spray the field because everyone walks differently. Everyone sprays a little bit differently. So here's the container. Now I'm gonna see We used 26 fluid ounces. So let, let's go over to the board 
to the uh, chalkboard, well, not chalkboard, the flip chart, and see, see what it came up with. So, so based on what we sprayed in the field, it took us 26 fluid ounces of water to treat the 300 square feet. So, and keep in mind, we want to treat uh, 3,600 square feet. So, uh, if we do the math, 300 divided by 3,600, so let, let me just put that here, 300 divided by 3,600 is, uh, and if I'm doing the math right, that should be 12. So we need to use 12 times that amount of water. So the amount of water we need for the field would be 26 times 12. Uh, let me take a minute just to get my calculator. Let's go ahead and we have 26 fluid ounces. We're going to multiply that by 12. And that tells us we need 312 fluid ounces of water to treat this field. There's 128 fluid ounces in a gallon, so we'll divide that by 128. And that tells us we need 2.44 gallons of, of water. I always mix up a little bit extra, so we'll say to treat this field, it's gonna take two and a half gallons of water. So we, now we know how much water. To determine how much pesticide, what we do is we take the rate of the pesticide we're gonna be using and we multiply it by the number of acres. So for example, if we were gonna use a pesticide that took five ounces per acre, we'd multiply five times 0 .082 and that would tell us exactly how many ounces of that uh, uh, pesticide we'd need to use. And let me just do that math for you with the example of five ounces per acre times zero. So it's 0.41 fluid ounces is what we would need. And so it may be difficult to measure 0.41 fluid ounces, but keep in mind that in an ounce, there are two tablespoons in an ounce. So 0 0.41 is less than a half of a, uh, of a, uh, a tablespoon. Uh, so what we would need is about two, and, and there's three teaspoons in an ounce. So that's about two and a half teaspoons of material in uh, two and a half gallons of water. And that's what we would need to treat this field. And that, sh that should be a very accurate calibration for the, this small acreage uh, application.